so uh, my part will going over the ability fractional fractional laser for uh, acne scar in dark skin patients and this is all my disclosures uh, I work with some of the laser company, uh, mostly uh, doing research and sometimes I get uh, equipment loan from uh, doing such a research. So when talking about, uh, when talking about uh, acne scar, so you know sometimes imagine the surface of the moon, it looks so beautiful from far away, but you know when you take a closer look you can start seeing like irregularity, uh, divot and everything. And uh, when you see the acne scar, there is different type and different type of acne scar get respond differently when using laser. Uh, there is ice peak scar, which is the most difficult one, rolling the easiest one and box car scar. Um, for, for me, for my personal opinion, I think rolling scar and box car scar is something that you can use fractional ability laser to treat it. Uh, so uh, any questions or uh, any comment? I think we will keep the question till the end. Okay. Uh, to the uh, Or if any, uh, if any attendees want to ask a question, you can type a Q&A and then we will okay. uh, save the uh, questions and then we will have a panelist discussion at the end of the session. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, next speaker. Uh, next speaker is uh, Dr. Joy Swing. Uh, Title is uh, how I how I use ablative fraction laser to treat keratoid scars. Please start your lecture, Dr. Joyce. Hi, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I will share with you how I use um, ablative fraction laser to treat acne uh, keratoid scars. You can see my slides. Yes. Oh, thank yes. you. Okay. Uh, uh, when you uh, when I treat uh, uh, to pass it coverage, I use five percent uh, for passes them twenty pass uh, twenty percent is uh, one passes. Uh, five percent four passes is safer than ten percent two passes. Safer than twenty percent uh, one passes because of uh, skin can cool after one passes. And the other uh, uh, protocol, uh, overlap uh, can cause persistent erythema scarring. So I recommend no overlap technique. The first pass, uh, no, no overlap. The second pass, no overlap, but difference, uh, different area uh, to avoid uh, no twisted area. Dr. Hao, you are you're muted. Okay. Good evening. Um, how to use the fractional laser in my, in my office. I think for most of the dermatologists, um, pseudo, pseudo laser or the later, the fractional laser is actually the most hardworking cow in our office. And, um, and that leads a lot of, a uh, lot of uh, chances that we need to really uh, fine tune our daily use in the, uh, in the, in, in this particular machine. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, using a, a, a perspective that perhaps shares some of my experience. I think most of the speakers, they have shared very nicely the mechanisms and how to use it uh, uh, and, uh, and how to compare different, different machines. Um, about the mechanism, actually, there's not too much discussions thus far. Um, I think... Uh, we probably we, we have to start to uh, try to formulate what kind of mechanism that can bring the best results out of the scar treatment. Because for uh, scar treatment, actually, the, this is the most commonly used uh, fractional laser. And um, I think uh, there are several ways that I, uh, I, I, I can use to how to understand the mechanism behind this uh, fractional laser. Um, definitely, it will have a controlled tissue abrasion and start the new cycle of remodeling. And doing this treatment, because of the uh, when the wound is healing, uh, the laser can undo the oversized tissue interaction and granulation formation, and that can lead to a very more uh, satisfactory or, or a good scar appearance. About
Do you did you observe that kind of phenomenon? I don't I don't see a lot of uh, activated rosacea. What I see more is like myelia, and oh. and yeah, myelia more, and also uh, maybe a bit of acne form eruption. Not so much rosacea. Mm -hmm. Maybe my patient population is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Rangsima? Yeah, me too. I didn't really see much more like a PIH or acne form eruption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the incidence of patient with rosacea is, uh, seems to be increasing. And I'm also wondering, uh, usually um, because ablative, uh, especially CO2 laser, because of the thermal in injury, that kind of uh, uh, response probably will control the uh, vessel reaction. So, uh, uh, because most of my patients actually, we just only treat with fractional CO2 laser. I will skip the patient with uh, acute um, attack of the papillopatrial type, but for the stable rosacea, for example, the child's only uh, uh, ETR type, uh, fractional CO2 laser will be okay because it can, can decrease the redness. But for very active or angry skin, uh, like what uh, Casey mentioned, probably you have to wait and uh, uh, have them take um, doxycycline in the first few one or two weeks and make sure that the redness just uh, went, uh, go away uh, gradually. Oh, most of the cases with the any form reversion, maybe just, uh, I think there's more, no more than three. And we just three uh, pimples sitting there uh, among mm -hmm. the treated area. I think this is the most typical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.